This weekend post, desaturating color to emphasize your subject. Hey everyone, I'm Scott Davenport. Welcome to Impost. Today we're going to talk about color, specifically desaturating color. Before I show you today's photo, I want to get your photo questions. If you've got questions about photography, whether it's shooting, post-processing, whatever it might be that's on your mind, I'd love to hear from you. Contact me through my website, comments on the video below, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, however you'd like to get a hold of me. It'd be great to hear from you. So today's photo uh, is um, a, a simple subject. It's a sand dollar I found while walking along a beach. Uh, as I record this, it was a couple of weeks ago. And uh, when I went to processing it, the trouble I had was separating the sand dollar from the sand, from the beach. Let me show you the photo here. This is the finished photo. But I'm going to hit the backslash key here in Lightroom. And you can see this is the beginning, right? It was uh, certainly kind of, you know, just very grayish, almost hazy. It's a very thin layer of water here. So I have a little bit of glare I was dealing with. I was shooting with a secondary camera, so I didn't have my polarizer on. I wasn't cutting glare. This was uh, a um, something to do with my idle hands while I had the tripod <laughs> set doing something else. Uh, but if I hit the backslash key again, you can see afterward really was able to bring this subject forward and out. And let me point out a few things that really made that happen. Now, the first is if we go into obviously the basics, right? We did we did things. You can see contrast is really pushed up high, so we can get a lot of these details right here in the sand dollar itself. And when we look in hue, saturation, and luminance really pushed up saturation on the purples and a little bit in the orange and yellows. That's here, this area, right? This is the purples on the edge and certainly a nice splash of orange and yellow in the middle. Now, when I push those oranges and yellows up, that also pushed up some of the orange and yellow that was in the sand, right? You, know, you can see some flecks of orange and yellow out here, certainly, whoops, certainly down in this area as well. Now, the way I controlled that was using radial filters. And that's really what made the big difference for this photo. So let me show you the radial filters. I'm going to turn those off for a minute. And so this is after your basic processing. Still kind of washed out, still very bright. Uh, the subject is clearer. You know, the sand dollar is there. You see it. But it's not really jumping out of the frame. Let me turn this back on again. We see that this to me was better. This was uh, making the subject more obvious. And I've got three different ones here. And the first one here, if I collect on that one, you can see this is reducing exposure and clarity for everything outside of the sand dollars. This whole area here, no effect whatsoever. And then I'm reducing clarity and reducing the exposure, kind of making a vignette, but also softening it. That's what the uh, reduction in clarity is doing. This second one right over here, this is focused purely on the sand dollar itself. And this is where we've boosted up clarity, uh, sharpness, even add more contrast to really make this sand dollar jump out. And if all it can hit that third one, I did. Great. So here's the third one. This is similar to the first one we saw with the kind of the vignetting. And this is where I reduced the saturation. You can see on the right hand side, pulled the saturation down really far. And that alone, let me delete that filter for just a moment. And you're going to see that. Lightroom catches up. We've got more color and things going on in these flecks of sand. And I found those to be a little bit distracting. If I undo and bring that back in, I might even tighten that up now that I'm looking at this a little more closely to really reduce just, you know, taking that final edge off of some of those oranges and yellow flecks in the sand to really bring this sand dollar to life. So the tip of the week is the saturation slider works in both directions, right? We can desaturate areas of our photo and the remaining areas become more colorful, right, by definition. So you don't always have to be increasing the saturation and throwing more and more color at your viewer's eyes. You can desaturate areas and get the same result. You can have your viewer seeing the areas of the photo that you want them to see. It's especially useful for reds, oranges, and greens, because those colors are very sensitive to saturation. And if we increase saturation, like if I tried to increase the saturation of, say, orange and yellow to make the sand dollar, that, that nice splotch of color there, come out more, it would have started to get very day glow and almost nuclear, would not have looked good. Instead, desaturate the other areas, and by definition, you'll get the emphasis where you want it in your scene. 
And that does it for today's Impost video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, please let me know somehow. Social shares are always appreciated. Comments on the video are great. Anything to let me know you've gotten some value out of this. Really appreciate the comments. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Happy shooting.